I'm going to be here to be yeah. in jail. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I preached them yeah. to jail. Yeah. You know, you know Brother Hyatt does it all the time, but you know, it takes something special to do that. People, but I, I thank God for letting me be here, and I want to preach out of uh, Luke chapter 7 and uh, verse 11. I'm going to start with that. It said, And it came to pass that day, and that in the day after, and that went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. And when he uh, came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out. And the holy son of the Here only son of his mother, and mm -hmm. she was a widow. And much people were, of, the, of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the beard, uh, that they that bare him stood still. And he was said, Young man, I say unto yeah. thee, Arise. Yeah. And he had, was dead, set up, and began to speak and deliver unto, uh, and, and was delivered unto his mother. I'm glad today that I know a God that sees yeah. all men. Yeah. He's yes. all powerful. Yeah. I just want to preach for a little bit on a boy who uh, was dead, but now he lived to tell about it. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, that's the way God is in this day and time. Yeah. I'm glad God's got the power to yeah. raise a, a somebody from the dead. I mean, I've not never seen it, and I don't think you've ever seen it, but when God, Jesus Christ, come around, death couldn't still stay there. Yeah. Death had to flee. I tell you what, he come in there. Yeah, and, come on. Uh, just imagine in your mind, he's coming into the city, and there's a whole flock of people coming out yeah. through there, yeah. and they had their mourners, they had professional yeah. mourners, yeah. they was crying out, and here come Jesus in with the, his disciples, and he come in there and saw the woman, and had compassion on yes, him. He, he goes over there yeah. to the, uh, he the beer, he and he goes over there, and he gets down, and he looks at the woman, and he, he sees her, and he feels sorry for her. I tell you what, in Genesis 3.17, a physical death uh, is appointed from God to men because of sin. Sin what? It wasn't a punishment. It was just a, a, what happens when you sin. I'm telling you what, death is going to happen to everybody. Yeah. I tell you what, but I tell you what, if you're not saved and born again, you'll die and go to hell. Amen. I praise God. I was 15. God saved my soul. I'm glad I was washed by the blood of the Lamb. God is good today, no matter who you are. No matter how wicked you are, God can save you. I'm glad Jesus saved my soul. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hey, death, I tell you what, the death come in and the death of this body, I tell you, this body's going to go down back to the dirt. I tell you what, I'm going to get up out of this life. I'm yeah. going up to heaven. I'm going to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And can't nobody do nothing about it. I feel sorry for somebody who don't know where they go. Thank God. I hit the floor right now. You say, praise God. He's going to be with Jesus. Amen. That's right. Thank God. I tell you what. You're not here tonight. You're not sure. You can be sure. Huh? Him up. Can you imagine all them people coming? And then here comes all these people with Jesus. And they all shout and holler back here about Jesus because he's healing. And these are all crying and everything. And you think about this, you look, and you see in my mind's eye, I can see Jesus going down in there. And the disciples and the people following. And he comes up and he touches that beer. And the beer is the thing that just carried him on. And I tell you what, they stop. Right. Yeah. They stop. Right. And I tell you what, it was on me. Yeah. I tell you what, it was on me. I tell you what, when they stopped that thing right there, that test says over here in the verse number 13, and when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her. Right. You know, and, he, and he says, he said unto her, weep not. In verse 14, he came, he touched the beard, and they did that. That bear him stood still. They stopped and stood still. I'm glad that night I got saved. I'm glad God come in. The Holy Ghost come in and spoke to my heart. I'm glad I stood still for a few minutes. And I tell you what, when I got down to the Holy and I cried out to God, hallelujah. I tell you what, God come in and got in my heart and saved my and made me a new creature. That's I was right. there for right. he, he made me cry. He's a new creature. Right. He's God. I'm not a new creation. I'm a new creature. Right. 
children. Hey, you're dead. If you're here today and you're saved, you're a dead man. You're a walking dead man. Right. 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 What? Jesus Christ saved you. That spiritual dead buddy. Right. Hallelujah. I got a new body inside. Yeah. That circumcision takes place. Cuts yeah. that body away from that soul. Hey, praise God. My soul's going to heaven. If you're not saved, you're going to hell. Glory to God, he right. came up there. And get this, he come up there and he, he touched the, the beard and it stopped. And then he told that boy, he, he told him, he said, he said, young man, mm -hmm. I say unto thee a right. Yeah. Boy, that was some sweet words. When I was on the altar and he got yeah. out the room, he said, a right. Hallelujah. I bet Jesus God saved my soul and I ain't been the same thing. <laughs> years this old. Yeah, I'm glad, thank God. I'm glad he's real tonight. Yeah. I'm glad there's so much power in the blood of Jesus Christ. No matter what a wicked hell now you are, he'll save you and clean you up. Amen. Right. Amen. Thank God. Yeah. Praise right. the Lord. Boy, shut up. I did you imagine. Boy, when I died, I was down on the right side of the altar. And I got up. Hey, hey, let me tell you what, it wasn't the same from that day. It took me about a week to really realize what happened. But my life changed, buddy. Right. It was a change in me. And God made a difference. Where I didn't want to go to church, then I wanted to go to church. Where I didn't want to read the Bible, I wanted to read the Bible. Hey, I'm telling you, he makes a difference. Right. I tell you what, the people, the people didn't know what to think. Yeah. He just sat up. He sat up and didn't want to do. He sat up and he started speaking. What did he say? I'll get to my what in the world. What do I say? Maybe he said, praise God. Thank you, Lord, for what you do. Hey, Amen. That's what I say tonight. Praise God for what you've done in my life. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, sir. Hey, Jesus Christ is the way. He is the only way. I tell you what, without Christ, we would all be in hell. I tell you, thank God if you're saved, you better thank God. I tell you what, you deserve hell. I deserve hell. But Jesus Christ, come down and die on that cross. Took all my sins and took them to the cross and nailed them there. Thank God. And God looks down from the throne. He looks through the base of that wall. And he sees the through the blood of Jesus Christ. He sees the shine. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You can't say that tonight mm. that you're saved. Yeah. If you can't tell me, look me in the eye yeah. and say, I know if I die tonight, I'd go to heaven. I'll tell you what, you need to get Jesus in yes, your heart. Right. Hey, man. Thank God, buddy. I love the blood of Jesus Christ. Hey, thank God for that precious blood. When they killed that lamb over there, yeah. they took your blood and put it on the doorpost, mm. and the top of the doorpost, and the little boy went up and he said, Daddy, we're going to be all right. And I said, hey, the blood's been applied. Yeah. Thank God. I'm glad the blood's been applied. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Well done. Well done, brother. Well done. 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 Well done.